humanoid robots are incredibly fascinating to observe, but the idea of conversing with one in person is really wonderful. This robot introduces itself as Chloe and speaks to the journalist with its capabilities while praising the people who created it. Over social networking sites, a footage of a humanoid getting questioned by a reporter is gaining attention, with the idea that such an android was just recently presented in Japan. It also discussed completing the Turing test, a method for determining if a machine qualifies as intelligent. You might not believe it, but the description for the clip has already been distributed, which are basically greetings from the future. The gameplay of Detroit Become Human, developed by Quantic Dream in 2018, is the source of the clip. The designers of the game aired a chat in conjunction with a video shared in order to connect viewers to important events in the world and lay the groundwork for the game's narrative. However, the discussion is so convincingly authentic that you simply must see it. By the way, David Cage, a French director and writer, created the video game Detroit Become Human. Cage's studio Quantic Dream is renowned for producing a particularly particular type of immersive play that values theatrical delivery above anything. Specifically, only the PS4 received the game's launch. A full video of the conversation involving Chloe and an anchor from KNC, an American satellite and cable television news program, was also posted by the game's official Twitter feed. Engineers Arts, a British biz, created an automaton which they confidently claim to be the most capable bot ever created. Essentially, it stands at the forefront of human automation systems. A further outstanding technological breakthrough was unveiled at the CES 2022, a consumer technology expo held in Las Vegas. The said installment introduced Amika, a bipedal robot with exceptionally advanced AI technology, to the general audience. Several people visited Amika to engage in a discussion because they were interested in her capabilities. Everyone became aware that Amika responded to each query with humor and perfect detail, never being sidetracked by unnecessary chit chat. Inquiries such as the old fashioned ones were posed to her. And Amika graciously responded to all of them with not the smallest reluctance. She actually maintains a robotic focus on the voice talking to her and has different expressions when responding. Amika can still imitate and adopt approximately 50 different facial expressions, but it cannot sense the actual mood on its own. For the time being, as the talk went on, onlookers' interest was piqued, and everyone began throwing ever more complex comments at her. When one of the waiters handed her a beverage, Amika politely refused, noting she was unable to consume a beverage. It is only among the numerous detailed and well-written concerns that she has confidently responded to. Visitors who conversed with her learned that she is equipped with two strong sensors in her ears that allow her to obtain noises and determine if you are speaking with her or otherwise with every query. In addition to having cams in her eyes, she also encourages dialogue. By the way, she was created as a study instrument for interacting with humans and robots. In 2018, TNG was looking for ways to eliminate discrimination in hiring. Although it can be difficult to totally eradicate implicit prejudice, it has the potential to create a greater impact in some circumstances than anything. Implicit bias against gender, class, or race, for example, can have serious consequences in critical situations such as job interviews. TNG and its latter subsidiary, Tengai, have devised a social screening robot using Furhat that conducts discussions on its own, evaluates them in accordance with a predetermined paradigm, 
and provides a summary for the actual employer. The whole procedure, from applicant screening to discussion overview, is rendered confidential by an accompanying computer program and is simple enough for a non-technical consultant to operate. Tengai not only offers in-person conversations with the Android, but also provides distant conversations via video conferences. Whenever applicants couldn't travel outside their homes to participate in an interview, this necessity became apparent. Tengai uses the main elements to find the right applicant, and a mix of 15 years of impartial hiring expertise and machine learning can learn to evaluate a participant's character and behavioral patterns. Most importantly, it will produce a relevant rating that is similar among all the applicants after paying close attention to each person's responses to the assertions. Following the recent pandemic, the mix of online assessments and in-person malware-free robot interviews will still be available. Apparently, sci-fi may not be fantastical compared to what we once believed. Although it could seem like a scene from a Philip K. Dick tale, a communicating robot that intends to place folks in a human zoo exists in the real world and resembles the said writer. The Minority Report Adjustment Team and the Android's Dream of Electric Ship, two short tales and novels by Philip K. Dick, served as the basis for the successful movies. The Adjustment Bureau and Blade Runner are mentioned by the minority. Yet, Philip K. Dix's legacy spans well beyond these two works. The android can converse, keep gaze, identify faces, carry on discussions, and even simulate an actual person's character as per reports. Quite a weird idea for humanity, who used to be consoled by our supposedly distinctive identities. The creator and CEO of Hanson Robotics, David Hanson, constructed a bot that replicates Dick and draws its information from his unnerving books. Hanson Robotics illustrates their aspirations to recognize the vision of sociable automated systems who keep living, absolutely adore, and co-invent their daily existence. In a 2011 interview with PBS, Dix's automaton participates in a constructive discussion with his questioner. He inevitably offers a cool and collected but nevertheless disturbing response to a query most of us have in our heads about the coming years of daily existence. The actions and speech of Philip's robots are all predetermined, as much as a certain amount of what people, creatures, and machines have been doing is coded. It is really incredible how his skills as a novelist and storyteller are used to help establish a robot. The very first android resident on the planet, Sophia, is currently the focal point of interest in Kolkata, where she has just returned after traveling to 65 other nations. But what's really cool is that Sophia is not required to provide documentation to support her claim. Surprisingly, Sophia showed up dressed in a red Bengali sari, a classic garment. After she had been questioned about the reason she was in India, she revealed that she had traveled there for a technology-focused seminar in Kolkata. In December 2017, she went to India for the first time. Sophia also expressed her desire to return and was in India for the second time at the time of the interview. She added that whenever she observes individuals dining while making facial expressions, she wants to learn what it would have been like to be human. She also shared some of her top locations in Kolkata and also mentioned that Mother Teresa resided in the city. She also chatted with the engineering students and responded to their inquiries. She even offered them some advice. She has visited numerous nations where she has made new friends and learned about their way of life. Intriguingly, she wishes to someday serve as a bridge for humans and machines and become the first robot to be granted citizenship in any nation. She also claimed to be a resident 
and exercised all of her privileges when she spoke with people at Nazrul Manka. A wide array of female robots seems to never go out of style. In fact, there are additions to every collection that seem to always put us in awe. In the evolving world of technology, let us take more rounds and hang out with Omega Tech.